Hello uh, YouTube and welcome to the channel. Another video today. So we're on um, week 8, day 1. Um, so just starting off with some ball jumps and uh, yeah these are going really well. So just gradually increasing week by week. Uh, so my last training session was Sunday when I did strongman training. Today's Wednesday, so I've had two clear days off. I've had Monday and Tuesday to rest. And, yeah, slept well and eaten well. Um, so with these ball jumps, the last time I did these, six feet four inches was my best. So here we are now at six foot five or 1.95 metres. So I'm literally just trying to increase an inch or two every workout. Uh, six foot six now so we're almost at two meters so yeah definitely gonna improve on that next time i hope moving on now to the um, axle bar clean and push press uh, so this is kind of like a volume deload week uh, so basically um, still using a fairly high load uh, but just doing less volume really so with these um, on day one i would be doing two sets of two but today I just wanted to work up to a single because uh, the other week um, I did every 90 seconds at 117 and a half and then I did 125 kilos and then 130 kilos um, so that 130 kilos I did was after doing all them 10 sets plus a 125 as well so I thought to myself okay well um, what can I what can I get um in a more fresher state so i thought okay well we'll we'll, um, we'll have a look and see uh i mean if i work freely i'm just going to stop but that 110 moved nice and easy so up to 120 kilos now or 265 pounds so uh yes yeah, i say still heavy weight but just less volume and less reps and just mainly working up in singles here now rather than doubles like i have been um, I also like to uh, sometimes change the exercises around sometimes and just do something a little different. So as I've stated before, with uh, overhead presses, I don't like to jump up more than 10 kilos at a time. So 120, add 6 kilos to go 126, and then I added 5 kilos for 131. Last time I did 130, so just increasing 1 kilo at a time really. And this is the most I've done for a long time actually. Uh, it's not the most I've ever done. Um, I think with that I just rushed into a bit, but I reset myself. I mean, I knew that I was going to do this, so um, so yeah, really happy with that. 131 kilos or 289 pounds. Um, so yeah, I, I, I know I can go higher on that, so uh, really pleased with that. I think the most I've ever done is 132 and a half kilos or 292 pounds, but that was at least two years ago, I think. Um, but I, I think I'm definitely capable of surpassing that now. So I will be doing that. I will be doing more than that real soon. So now we're doing um, seated axle shoulder press, but I'm starting from the forehead. Um, this is an exercise that I actually borrowed off of Rob Frampton. Uh, for those of you who don't know who he is, he um, was a strongman competitor, and he actually did compete at Britain's Strongest Man and World's Strongest Man. Um, and he's from England. Um, he was actually a judge at one of my competitions six years ago. Um, nice bloke. And... Uh, this is good because it's it helps overload the triceps but if you look carefully you'll see that i basically started each rep from a dead start so it just takes away the momentum i haven't i have done this exercise before but i haven't done it for a long time so i had no idea what kind of weight i'd be using um but i went up to 100 for five it was hard but i could have done more but i was happy with 100 so I decided to leave it there. And yeah, maybe I'll do this again at some point. I might actually make it, um, I might actually put it in a future block, a future pressing block. So moving on now to Lou raise for shoulder stability. Normally I do two exercises for shoulder stab on day one, but since this is a, a volume deload, I just did one. 14 kilos per hand, this is the most I've ever done on Lou raise now. So yeah, quite a heavy day. Um, basically low volume but going quite heavy now um, 10 reps so just two sets the first set was eight reps with 10 kilos um, 
normally I do close grip incline board press but I thought I'd uh, do something a little bit different today uh, so I just yeah literally just did flat bench press it's been quite a long time since I've done this uh, and I was just curious to see where my bench press is at since I haven't done it for so long pressing had been going down when I was um, training for the 320 kilo deadlift uh, but ever since I've gone back to pressing, my pressing has really improved. I mean, as you saw for yourself, I did 131 kilos overhead. So I thought, okay, it'd be interesting to see whether my bench press has improved. And so I thought, okay, well, we'll do this 120, which is the last warm-up. And then I'll do three plates aside, 140 kilos. And yeah, just see how many reps I can do. Not to failure, but uh, we'll just um, see what's there. You know, if I can get four or five, I'll be quite happy with that. I'm sorry to have to report though, I only managed two reps on the bench press at 140 kilos. I probably could have done three, but I didn't have a spot on and I didn't want to risk it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I mean, being a strong man, bench is just an assistance exercise, so it's no biggie, but I'm j I am was expecting more than that. So after that, finished off with um, the Stairmaster. This is something I've been doing for quite a while, and yeah, I've been gradually improving on this week by week. So just 10 minutes, and now um, I'm at a best of 652 steps in 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah, another improvement, and I can definitely improve on that. That was really hard. I was sweating like a good one today, gym being hot and all, but, yeah, I, I think I can improve on that. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the end of the workout. Next training session will probably be Saturday. Because it's a deload, um, I will be going lighter on the low body. I find with... Um, pressing especially overhead you can get away with that a bit more you can go a bit heavier and it's more forgiving on the central nervous system but with lower body not so much so uh, Saturday session will be lower not just in volume but in load as well and then that will help me pull back some recovery and then I can go into week 9 hopefully feeling better and then yeah just uh, be raring to go and be able to push some more weight so um, I'm going to sign off now, so I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more Strongman content, please like the video, comment, um, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that every time I put a video up, you'll be notified. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you won't miss out on anything. So um, I'm going to say cheerio, and until next time.